Hey everybody, this is Unit 5, Formative 1, Video 3. We're going to be factoring trinomials just like we have been, except now they're going to have a GCF with them. Alright, so if we look at this problem, it looks just the same as what we've been doing, except if you look at your beginning terms, or if you look at your terms, you have 9, 3, and negative 30. So that tells me that they're all divisible by 3, so we have a GCF. So I'm going to pull out a GCF of 3 out of all of them. So we did that the very first day, so really all I'm doing is dividing everything by 3 right now. So that gives me 3w squared plus 1w minus 10. And now I'm going to factor um, the trinomial that's in the parentheses the same way as we've been doing. So I'm going to make my chart, and I'm going to multiply in the top box. And so I'm going to multiply 3 times negative 10 because I'm just looking at the stuff that's in the parentheses here. I don't want to worry about this 3 right here. That's just going to get carried down in my answer. So in other words, my answer will look something like this with the 3 on the outside. Okay, 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. And then we want to list factors in negative 30. So we have 10 and negative 3 negative 10, positive 3, negative 5, positive 6, 5 and negative 6, 15 and negative 2, negative 15, positive 2, 30 and negative 1, negative 30, positive 1. And start adding them all together so we get 7, negative 7, 1, negative 1, 13, negative 13, 29, and negative 29. So that part is just what you did yesterday. Pull down the 3w, put it here. Um, put the x in the other one because 3x times x will give you the 3, or sorry, it should be w there. And 3w times w gives you 3w squared. And then we look over here, we want a positive 1, so we're going to use the negative 5 and 6. This stuff does not mean anything. And then we look, and 3 needs to multiply to be one of these two numbers. Well, 3 can only multiply to be 6. That means 3 times a positive 2 will give you the 6w here. And then that means the negative 5 needs to go in this one to give you negative 5w. And then those two add together to give you 1w. So your answer would be right here in the parentheses with the 3 on the outside. All right, we look at this one. Again, we look for a GCF first. So 6, 14, and 40. Um, 2 will go into all of those, so that means our GCF is 2. So I'm going to pull out a GCF of 2 and then divide everything by 2. So that gives me 3x squared plus 7x minus 20 inside the parentheses then. So this is the part right here that I'm going to be working with and actually factoring out. So I'm going to draw my parentheses with a 2 on the outside, I know that it's going to be 3x times x here. I'm going to make my table. And I'm going to multiply 3 times negative 20 to get negative 60. And so then I'm going to start multiplying. I've got 60 and negative 1. Negative 60, positive 1. Um, I've got 15 and negative 4. Negative 15, positive 4. I've got 10 and negative 6. Negative 10, positive 6. Um, we've got 12 and negative 5 negative 12, positive 5, and I'm going to go ahead and start adding my list because I think that my number might be in here, so 59, negative 59, um, we've got 11, negative 11, 4, negative 4, 
7 and negative 7. And I am actually looking for the 7 right here. So I want to use these two numbers. And again, just like yesterday, so 3 needs to multiply because 3 is this term right here. So 3 needs to multiply over here to be 1 of these two numbers. Well, it can't multiply to be negative 5. So that means down here it needs to be 12 x on this line. Well, 3 times a positive 4 will give you 12 x. And so therefore the minus 5 needs to go in this one. Because then negative 5 times x gives you negative 5 x. Add those two together, you get a positive 7 x, which is what we want for the middle right there. So 3x minus 5, x plus 4 would be your answer with a 2 on the outside. All right, last one here. We look at 15, 35, and negative 30. So we're looking for a GCF first. And they all three divide by 5. So that means my greatest common factor is 5. So I'm dividing everything by 5 here. And in the parentheses, I'll get 15 divided by 5 is 3x squared. 35 divided by 5 is 7x. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Draw your table, your parentheses. And we're going to carry down the 3x and an x. We're going to multiply 3 times negative 6 to get negative 18. And that 3 times 6 came from here and here. First term times the last term. We don't worry about any of this once we've taken out the GCF. And so we've got 3 and negative 6, 6 and negative 3, 18 and negative 1. Um, we've got negative 18, positive 1. 9 and negative 2, and negative 9 and positive 2. So that gives you negative 3, 3, we're adding them together now, negative 17, 7, and negative 7. And we're looking for the one that adds to positive 7. So we want this one right here. So that means that 3 times something has to be one of these two numbers. Well, 3 can't multiply by anything to be negative 2, so it will multiply to be 9. That means that the 9x needs to go on this line, and 3 times a positive 3 over on this side. So 3 times the 3 will give you 9x, and then the negative 2 needs to go in this one, because negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Add those together, and you get a 7x to check your answer real quick. So that matches that, and there would be your solution. All right, here's your practice problem. Make sure you attempt this. If you um, don't know what you're doing, either rewatch the video and make sure you come with some questions that you can ask about the problem if you're not quite sure what to do. All right, we'll see you later.